Trumba Connect is an online application for publishing interactive calendars of events. You're about to view a demo of the Trumba event registration process. Before I demonstrate Trumba's registration feature set, I'll introduce a few roles that are used in the registration scenario. On the left is the Trumba account holder, the only person in the registration scenario that needs a Trumba account. This Trumba editor or publisher account creates the event in Trumba and sets up any registration treatments needed for that event. The Trumba account holder can specify a list of people using solely their email addresses to be placed into an organizer's group for the event. Organizers do not have to be Trumba account holders. Organizers can receive an email when someone signs up for the event, communicate with individual registrants, and check people in at the start of the event. They can also generate a list of the attendees of the event at any time. The Trumba account holder can set up direct sign up for the event on the website. They can also set up and manage a distribution list to which the system sends event email invitations. Those that receive an email invitation but have not yet responded are invitees. Those that sign up to attend the event, whether through the website or an email invitation, are the registrants. This slide shows the event. No one on the slide needs to have a Trumba account. The organizers for the event can optionally check people in at the door as they arrive using the Trumba check-in app. Certificates with each registrant's name can be printed using the Trumba registration list and Microsoft Word's mail merge capability. I will play the role of a student interested in learning more about a fictitious school called Trumba University. Trumba University has a calendar page of events where I can filter and browse to find my event of interest. There are several views of the calendar data shown here, all of which are mobile responsive. Here's an overnight visit event for which I can register. Before I sign up for this event, I want to know more details. I see a detailed event description, custom fields chosen by the Trumba account holder to display with this event, and the map thumbnail where I can get a full map view for directions to the event. Here I see that I can post this event to my Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn feed, sign up for the event, email it to my friends, or take these other event actions. I'll sign up for this event. Now let's look at the fully branded custom sign up page. The Trumba account holder can specify questions for the registrant, including any default answers and whether each answer is required or not, so that they can then receive and track the registration data for the event. At the top of the page, visitors can sign in with their social media accounts. There are also options for organizations to set up single sign-on for all their members. I will sign into my Google account so we can see the benefits of doing so. Notice all the pre-filled in fields. These responses were saved from a prior event for which I signed up. The Trump account holder that specified these questions chose to save certain responses for future use. The Trumba account holder can also enable a waitlist for the event, which appears after the event fills up. The Trump account holder specifies which questions appear on the waitlist form. At the bottom of this form is a custom question designed to facilitate communication between the event organizers and the registrants. Here, the registrant can provide other information or requests that the organizers see in the email they receive immediately after someone registers for the event. Now I'll click OK to sign up for this event. Now that sign up is complete, I'm prompted to add this event to my personal calendar.
after the event's been added to my Google Calendar, I can visit my events at any time to see a list of all the events I've interacted with. Here you see the various events I've interacted with while signed in with my Google account. I can view the event details or change my registration information. Registration for this event is now full. I'll pose as someone else and add myself to the waitlist. Notice that some of the questions that were on the registration form also appear on the waitlist. The Trumba account holder determines which question should be included on the waitlist. I will pose as the Trumba account holder and see what's happening with my registration event. Here, notice the registration options for this event, such as send invitations to register for this event and open sign up for this event. We don't show this registration list to the new registrants as they sign up, but we do show the number of remaining openings. We send a registration confirmation email to the registrant upon completion. We require the attendee name in this case, but not the email address. Here is where the Trumba account holder can specify a custom registration success message. The success message appears at the completion of the registration on the website and in the confirmation email. We allow visitors sign in for this event using their Facebook, Google, or Live accounts. Had we set up a single sign-on for Trump University, that would also appear as a visitor account sign-in option. For this event, the Trump account holder is using the custom registration form overnight visit. There's a limit of 20 registrants with a maximum of two guests per registrant. When the event fills up, a waitlist is created. After the waitlist has five people on it, we stop adding new people to the waitlist. When a spot becomes available after a previously registered guest declines, we automatically begin inviting people from the waitlist to fill the openings. If there are more people on the waitlist than openings, each person on the waitlist that gets an invitation to attend has one day before the next person on the waitlist is also invited to the event. This creates a first-come, first-served situation purposely set up to make sure we fill the event. Registration for this event begins as soon as it is published on the website and not some future date. Registration closes one week prior to the start of the event. There's a list of organizers for this event who each receive registration emails notifying them when someone registers. No Trump account is needed to be an organizer, just an email address. This is a repeating event, and the visitors are signing up for a single occurrence. Looking at the list of registrants for this event, there are several things you can do. You can add new attendees, edit individual responses, and remove attendees from the list. You can invite new attendees to register themselves. You can export the registration table, as shown, to a comma-separated values file that can be opened by Microsoft Excel. You can send reminders to respond to those who have not yet registered. You can send email reminders with custom message subjects and content to the list of registrants, either on demand or as you've scheduled. You can add attendees to your Trumba address book for future event invitations. Trumba also supports paid event registration. I'll use our test environment and a test credit card number to demonstrate Trumba's ability to accept payments for your events. Here's a fictional job training workshop event that I'll sign up for. And here's Trumba's fully branded event registration form with multiple pricing options. 
custom registration forms with multiple pricing options are available, as you can see here. This form has already been filled out based on my social media account, which speed, speeds things up but isn't required. In addition to the credit card providers you see on screen, we also support PayPal payments. I'll fill out this form using a test credit card. As you can see, the site visitor is not exposed to additional transaction fees. When I hit complete order, the form is fully validated. A confirmation email is sent to the registrant, which can be used for refunds. Note that refunds can be configured independently for each event as either self-serve, Trumba event editor refunded only, or not available. The Trumba event registration system integrates with the Authorize.net, HireOne, and PayPal payment gateways. These gateways all accept payments using major credit cards and PayPal. Trumba is a fully PCI compliant secure solution. For more information, visit trumba.com. I will now play the role of one of the organizers for an event, where we want to check people in at multiple entrances as they enter the event. Organizers do not have to be Trumba account holders. At a minimum, however, organizers must have valid email addresses so they can receive registration notification emails with the registrants' responses and communicate with individual registrants. For organizers to check in people at the doors prior to the start of an event, they will also need Facebook, Google, Microsoft, or a single sign-on account associated with their email address. In the Trumba backend for the event, I add organizers using their email addresses. When I save the event, the organizers receive an email notifying them of their status as an organizer for the event. When I click the event attendees link, it takes me to the attendee check-in page. Note that I can also get to this page by going to eventactions.com. The attendee check-in page works great on any device including on your smartphone. As the registrants arrive, you can check them off the list. They may have shown up with a different number of guests that were registered, and we can handle that scenario. If there's more than one organizer checking people in, the status is immediately updated on all organizers' views, with no refresh required. The organizers for the event are always kept in sync and up to date. You can search for attendees by name or email address. You can expand the attendee list to show others that have not registered, but may have been added to the wait list or invited but did not accept, and then showed up at the event anyway. As you check in the attendees, you can hide those that have already been checked in to shorten the list. Note that the organizer can export the registration list to a CSV file for import by Microsoft Excel. This concludes the organizer check-in feature demonstration. Thank you for viewing our Trumba event registration demo. Here at Trumba Corporation, our expert staff helps you develop a customized event registration process that works perfectly for your organization. For more information, visit Trumba.com.